Hello guys, this is Mike from MakeProgramming.org. I am not going to program in this video, but I'm going to give you an overview of what I.O. is all about, Java.io package. And what I.O. stands for is input and output. And what that covers are input and output streams. And those are the main things Java deals with when it comes to dealing with data an input stream and an output stream so I drew a little uh, demonstration here in uh, Microsoft Visio which I really suck at but I think this should do the trick if I explain it to you correctly let's pretend that this is our Java program so as you know we've pretty much went over output stream and input stream but you may not have caught on when I say system.in, and that means that the system is the program and in is the input stream, and it's usually the keyboard. When I say scanner and I put in system.in and I'm reading from the keyboard, that's what that is, is the keyboard is an input stream into the program. And if I wanted to talk about an output stream and you say system.out.println, usually it's the program printing it out to the console okay and then now we're gonna start dealing with some other type of input and output streams and all that is is the flow of data that's what a stream is is an object that represents flow of data okay so when you're dealing with a file there's input stream and output stream the input stream is when you are reading in the file into your program and maybe displaying the text or using the text for something within your program and then the output stream would be having like a print writer that would print to a new file or just as you would say like print line to the console you can have output streams that would print lines to a file and you can structure the file the way you want and the same with a wide collection of websites, sockets, and any other type of network. You're going to have input and output streams that you're going to have to deal with. So this was just a little overview of what streams are. And like I said, it's just the flow. It's an object that represents the flow of data. And there's two types, output and input. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the two types of files, which are text and binary. So please join me in the next tutorial.